how to use Google Drive to share files, photos and folders. Welcome back to WebsiteAcademy.com. This is your host Anuj and in this short video, I'll be telling you how you can store your files, photos, store them, share them with your friends, family and give them access rights. So just stay tuned. Just come to Google.com and then what you can type is Drive and then just open this first result which you get now as you come here you have two options to choose first of all you can download google drive on your pc or mac if you are having and then use it directly as an app on your pc or on your mac there's another thing which you can do is that you can open the web browser version of google drive and you can operate and you can control everything like you do uh, from your web browser okay now if I open this in a new tab what I will get is get drive everywhere okay install drive on your smartphone tablet and computer for free cloud storage that lets you keep your files safe and easy to reach from anywhere okay so this is the download version of Google Drive and you can just directly access Google Drive through your web browser so you can click on go to Google Drive here it will take you the web browser version of Google Drive okay now you will get 15 GB of free space for storing your photos documents and you can share it to unlimited people okay there is no restriction for sharing okay there is one more thing which you need to know is that for you to use Google Drive you need to have a Gmail account so like me I am currently logged into a Gmail account Gmail accounts are free to, to create you can just uh, create any gmail account if you don't know how to create a gmail account you can watch my one of my videos on gmail how to create a gmail account which i have done okay now to the left of your computer screen you will see this new bar in red tab what you can do as you click on it once you will get options for like plus one to folder you can create a new folder here or you can upload a file from your pc okay or mac and then you can upload a folder and then you can create a google docs you can create a google sheet you can create a google slides and if you go to more what you will see is you can also create google forms you can create google drawings you can create google my maps plus you have other options for you to uh, to do some external stuff which Google Drive does not support yet what you can do is you can connect more apps to your Google Drive storage and it will uh, be connected and whatever you do on those apps it will become directly to your drive storage okay so you can keep everything in one place store and keep them organized so for the sake of this video I will show you how you can upload and store a folder and then how you can create a document and then how you can share it to your friends and family so that they can have access to your files and folders which you want to see plus if you want to give them authority to edit or if you just want them to see we'll discuss on each and every aspect of that permission level so just stay tuned okay so for the demonstration of sharing what i have got here is i have got few of my pics and one of my friends pic is here with me I would like to share them to my other friends and I would also like to store them on Google Drive if in case my PC gets halted or if something happens to my PC I could have a backup copy how do I share it how do I store them so let's open Google Drive so here we are on Google Drive what I can do is click on this new tab and play, choose this file upload option now what I can do is I can just click on that once and then uh, I can hold this control key in Windows and in on Mac uh, it will be command key obviously and then choose the another photo and then this other photo and click on open it's uploading three items for me on my Google Drive okay so my files have finished uploading to my Google Drive and I have a good and nice copy of them on my Google Drive now let's see how to open them for you to open them just click double click on them and it will open for you now let's see how do I share them to my friends 
Now, if I would like to share this pic, what I can do is click on this pic once. I will see these few options on the top of my pictures. So let's hover over our cousin and see what these icons mean. Okay, so the first one tells me to get a link. Okay, it will be a short link which you can directly paste it on your web browser and can have access to those pictures of yours. This next pic is the share option. Then this I option is for previewing that pic. This is obviously the delete remove option. And then you can click on this icon and it will give you more options. You can download, make a copy, manage versions, do do different stuff. Okay. Then what you can do is you can see this pic in a list view. And then short option. If you have, let's say if you have a lot of pics and you want to short them according to alphabet and then you have this settings option. So let's see now if I want to share this pic alone, I will click on it once and I will get this share. I'll go to this share option and it will give me this, uh, this message as I hover over it. Share anus2.jpg. If I want to share three of them all together, what I can do is I can just click anywhere outside the pics and then highlight all three pics click on it once now what you will get here is share with others three items just type in the email address let's say i know an email address that is Anuj. this is the email address and i would like him to see all my three pics okay so uh, this is the email address and then what i can do is i can put a note here hey buddy This is the message I can let him know. And then what I can do is I can assign him a permission level. Let's say if I want to let them edit or if I want them to only comment, if I want them only be able to view my pick, I can choose from these three options. Okay. If I don't want anybody to edit my pictures. Okay. So what I can do is just say can view my pick. Okay. And then I can just directly say send and bam, I have shared my pick with Anuj the awesome guy at the gmail.com now now let's talk about how if you want you can let all your three pics to be seen by public okay so how do we do that first of all we highlight all these three pics okay and then go to this sharing options and click on it and then go to this advanced here you can see this advanced option just down below can edit okay you will see this advanced just click on advanced and now what you will see you will get this links to share okay just don't worry about these these are the direct links of the pictures okay so this will be any number of the links which you can see if you have selected more items you will see more links here okay so let's not talk about that okay now what you can do who has access permission so currently me and this other person has access to my my pictures okay i can invite more people from here if i know their email address okay but if i want them all my pics to be seen by like anybody can see if they have my link okay what i can do is i can change this who has access specific pe people can access currently it's it's the default option which is selected in google drive what i can do is click on this change and then link sharing option will come now here what i can see is that of that this bar is checked and it says of specific people okay what i can do is select check this bar that will be public on the web anybody on the internet can find and access no sign in required so they don't need to sign in they don't need to have an email address don't need any gmail account but they can just directly have access to my pics my my folders my files okay anybody so that's public however there is one more option that is anyone with the link can see my picture the second one and that is but they need to sign into their email address okay so they need to have a gmail account or uh, whatever email they are using but they need to have a gmail account okay they need to sign in and then only they will be able to see my account and then there's this third option which we which is set to default and that is nobody will be able to see only the people who you give the link and you give permission to see they will be able to see so let's let's put it on public and then what we can do is we can grant them access level what kind of now anybody who has the link can see they don't need to sign in with an email account but what can they do is they can view only they can comment or they can edit so 
please do not allow anybody to edit your pictures okay i don't think that's a good option to give this level of authority to public but what you can really give is you can say anybody can view my pictures they don't need to sign into any email address click on save now you can see who has access public on the web anybody on the internet can find and view my picture okay so even google can index your pictures okay so that's what we have done currently okay now there's one more thing what's the owner settings which you have is that you ought to click on this and then again on this what this means first one is prevent editors from changing access and adding new people okay you don't want anybody else to change accessing level without your permission and then you have to disable options for the, to download print and copy for commenters and viewers so there are people who gonna download your pictures they're gonna comment it they're gonna upload it on facebook they're gonna they can spam on uh, with your pictures okay so i think you can just disable the option for downloading printing and copy just check on these two and then say save changes and bam thanks for watching please like and share this video and click here to subscribe